neighbours, sorry about the wind. Yeah, it's another beach uh, solo. Um, might be met by Richard later, he's not staying though, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, just gonna have a chill out. It's a Friday afternoon at the moment, about just got five o'clock. Come down to my favourite beach, which is, excuse my fingers, which is not actually my favourite beach anymore, purely because it's flat as a witch's tit. Oh, they're taking all the berms out of it. They keep driving trucks up here and putting more pebbles from wherever they're dredging it from. So uh, it's not good. Hopefully you can hear me all right. But I'm going to set up. I've just got a basic bivvy tonight, new bivvy. Haven't even opened it yet, so <coughs> time will tell. It's breathable, waterproof. Very similar to the Dutch Army, but not quite as sturdy, I don't think. But I'll show you that later when I get an opportunity and obviously Maybe not when it's windy. I'll see you in a little while. My bivvy spot is basically in there and the sea definitely comes up to here, I know that for a fact. So it's about two metres away from my feet. Usual story with this place. I think I might bin this place now, maybe, maybe one more out in this year. I need to find a new beach location. It's just too flat now. In there would be ideal, but I would get really wet in the middle of the night with high tide. So there it is, not that much cover. All the uh, groins have been covered in. There's one further up there, but it's within the water line. The water goes right in there. So I can't, can't go there, which is a shame. But there you go, such is life when you've got to pick your spots when you're beach camping. Oh, isn't that pretty? Just put my little base in. Putting bigger stones does help uh, not get so uh, splattered with hand grenade material when it gets hot after having a fire. Just gonna have a little fire. But you never know with Rick if he turns up, he'll pre probably bring half a tree with him. So uh, we shall see, but I'm just preparing it. There's my bivvy spot over there. And there's the fire, wind's going that way. So hopefully should be all right. This new chair from Aldi, <clears throat> haven't even got out of the box, look. Uh, about 17 quid, gonna try it. I don't hold out much hope that it's gonna last for long. But uh, it's under a kilogram, I think it's eight, eight, 90 grams. It feels lighter than that. So I'm gonna set it up.
I've got uh, a mixture of, I think, chili, spaghetti bolognese, and um, some Caribbean Uncle Ben's type, quick type rice. I really don't know, because they're in the freezer, but they weren't labelled up. So um, it's potluck, really. I'll just chuck a bit of rice in it. I don't need too much, actually. And uh, Bob's your auntie, and Robert's your father's brother's sister's cousin, third removed. Today is summer solstice. Solstice. God, sorry about the fingers. It's a bloody nightmare holding it in your hand. Hey guys. Um, summer solstice, longest day today. I think the sun sets at 9.15, something like that. So uh, we shall see, it's now 10 to 7. So um, the longest day. We're into shorter nights again, which is not good. There's my dindins down there. Dindins! Mm -hmm. I'm not actually hungry at all. But if I don't eat, I'll fall over and die. Goodbye. Doesn't that look amazing? Can't really see, can you? <laughs> it's definitely one pack is chili, homemade chili. One pack is one pack is homemade spaghetti bolognese and I've chucked some piri piri I thought it was Caribbean rice but it's not as piri piri rice in the mix just for the lols but I wasn't hungry but I'm hungry now there's about half a packet of rice left that I've saved just in case but there are plenty there that's enough for two people really comes Rick. I can see him, he's got fishing rods as well. We might be eating fish tonight, boy. <laughs> you got your rods? Can't even see you, you're right in the sun. You got any rods? No, I didn't bring uh, uh, Nice. Bloody long walk, isn't it? From there, across those bloody pebbles. Yeah, especially when you're carrying stuff. Yeah, how are you, mate? All right. Uh, not too bad. Uh, good. good, long time no see. You got a couple of like, little bits of kindling or something? All that. Oh cool, that was the last <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah that'd be. Nice one. Cheers mate. See you in a bit. Bye! Bye. Here she is. Uh, Miltec Bivy, which is basically a copy of the USA... Uh, is it the GSI? I wanted the, the US Army one, <clears throat> which is a bit thicker, I think. Um, but they're just so expensive. I could have got one second hand for about £69. But I got this new for 49 and the week before they were 39 uh, So it's a Miltech one. I think I got it from Military First, but I'll, I'll stick it in there. Either in the description or flash it up here on the screen. Um, I don't think it's going to be as warm as the Dutch army because it's certainly not as thick and not as heavy. Uh, it's breathable, waterproof to 5,000 uh, hydrostatic head, um, 500 grams, milligrams per, oh, I'll put the specs up in a minute, uh, per hour or something for breathability. But all the specs seem good. Um, as you can see, I got it in the traditional beach, um, beach camping camo, 
it blends in really well with the beach. <laughs> uh, I actually like this camo because it, it's sort of a bit like DPM, but it's like US Army woodland camo, I think it is. Uh, but the light's sort of fading now because the sun's setting soon, so I'll get some better images and stuff in the morning and I'll let you know how it is. But it will certainly get wet tonight because the, the spray from the sea, I mean, the, the, the water line is here, literally just behind my tripod there, that, about there. So I'm closer to it than I normally would be. Normally I'm up this end a little bit, but the trucks have been up and they're filling the beach in, keep filling the beach in, so it's, it's just flat. So I had to dig myself a little trench out to keep out the wind, because earlier on the wind was coming in this way real bad. But it's, um, it's coming from the sun setting way now. So, um, but yeah, so I'll let you know how it is in the morning. It looks a little bit tight, it's got no hoop. So it's going to be more claustrophobic than the Dutch. I'm hoping for a starry night and at the moment it looks okay. So I'll probably have it open anyway. But there you go. I may even have to take the ground sheet out because I'm on a very slight hill. So I don't want to be slipping down the hill all night, which would be a nightmare. And also if it rains, I'm going to get absolutely soaked when it eventually goes through, because I suppose it will. Because it will start running down here, perhaps. But... Uh, yeah, excuse my mess here. Need to do a little bit of admin. But I'll briefly go through my setup, which is the usual setup, but for anyone else who's new to my channel, I've got, let's go the other way, shall we? Uh, DD Dura 2 sleeping bag, which is brilliant, excellent, but I'm sure there's better ones out there, but for the money, it's good. Uh, Decathlon Helium pillow which is very good a couple of people have bought that on my recommend and I was recommended it by Paul Paul Bisco right Paul how you doing um, yeah really good really good pillow well worth the 12 pounds or whatever it is um, and the underneath is the outkit cloud base which so far hasn't suffered any punctures um, Although it doesn't feel that hard now, but I didn't put as much air in it as I normally do because I sometimes overfill it, I think. So we shall see. I'll let you know in the morning how it all went. Just on a side note, the actual interior, the material is <clears throat> very similar to the Dutch Army Hoop Bivy, actually. A bit more modern materials, but it's very, you know, I suppose, like a Gore-Tex-y type. Um, I'll put the specs up or I'll just put a, a screenshot of the actual listing the only thing i don't like is labels because they will annoy me i want to cut those off but i suppose i better keep them on as it's got laundry instructions and stuff but i could cut it off i might just cut it off sort it um what's that for why is there velcro there mm. odd oh put the top down right yeah so it's got buttons up along the side uh three quarter zip Pretty sturdy zip, not not YKK zippers, but already comes with a, a longer tab, which is quite handy, but I might add the extra paracord to that. Uh, we shall see. It's going to be pretty tight in there, I think. I might be having the top open, flaps open, but we shall see how cold it gets. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, the thing I've just noticed, what that Velcro tab was for, is to do the hood bit up, but... <coughs> I actually thought for some strange reason that it zipped up all the way around, which it doesn't. So therefore, I'm going to get this bloody thing open. Bear me, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Ugh. Um, it only zips up to, to your neck. And I thought it went all the way around. So if it rains, you might be getting a little bit damp. Although it does... It, has, it does go over quite well, but if you're on driving rain, that would you might get wet. But I suppose you need a little bit of aeration, otherwise you might suffocate. Although it is breathable, so it shouldn't. But um, yeah, bye bye. It's now about I think it's about half past eight. It's my red face, mainly because of the sun, is the rare right in my face. Um, typical, isn't it? This, the wind's just totally and utterly dropped off completely now. Always the way about this time on this beach. Maybe I should come later and do filming. But as it's the longest day today, 
it's uh, it's now going to get worse for filming when it's dark. Got a few extra layers on because it was getting a bit chilly. Got my little snood. Uh, got a hat ready to go. Got another layer on the top. Got my head torch ready to go. Rickles is over there doing some metal detecting. He's found a bullet and a wheel, like a wheel thing. There's bugs here. There's not normally bugs on the beach. Um, yeah, or a bullet casing actually, not a bullet, but the, the actual casing, which was quite interesting. Looks quite old. So he's going to clean it up and see if you can see what type of bullet it is. I'm not really up on bullets and things, so uh, I don't know what it is. Certainly not a 2-2 or an air rifle. So anyway, here I am. On the beach of usualness. Just give you a little bit of a pan round to the sun. Can't really see it. It's quite pretty, the sunset. Um, it's been set up there. Already gone through it. I might just give you another little shot. Not sure whether the light's any better now, but there it is. Yeah. Um, we shall see. Tonight will be the test because the wind's going to get up again later and it's going to come in from this way and from the sea. So um, we shall see how warm I am in it be interesting it's certainly more waterproof and more breathable than the other sort of cheapo ones i got uh, i spent a night with my son down here on uh well, it must be two years ago now and we bought some mountain warehouse bivy bags that were supposed to be breathable but they weren't and then i spent another night i put two bivy, i got in two bivy bags actually Woo train going past let me see that um and uh they, they they were wet inside so they definitely weren't breathable but um, and my sleeping bag was a bit wet so we shall see how it is um, if it's crap then it's going back but I'm I'm hoping it'll be alright because I quite like it looks a bit like a surfboard bag actually doesn't it I'm a bit concerned <laughs> that there'll be enough room in it but I haven't even tried it yet I'm just going to get in it later after I've consumed my wine and my Jack Daniels and uh, it won't really matter. And then hopefully in the morning I'll be getting up for the uh, sunrise. If I actually wake up, I'm not setting an alarm or anything. The plan, Stan, is um, to go to bed whenever. I think Rick's going later on, so he might go about 12-ish. Probably go to bed about then. We're going to have a fire on the go in a minute. And the sun starts going down properly. And... Uh, have a chat, have a chill, and then I'm going to wake up in the morning, hopefully get the sunrise, because normally I just wake up at like half four-ish. Uh, so I'm not going to set an alarm or anything. If I wake up and catch it, I'll do. If not, check back some of my other videos, beach videos, and you'll see the sunrise, because it'll be exactly the same. Um, you never know, I might not ever see one tomorrow anyway, if it's, uh, if it's cloudy. So cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So there you go. It's actually quite warm now. Might have to take another layer off. Layer Cake. That's a very good film if no one's ever seen Layer Cake. It's quite an old film now. Got um, James Bond dude in it. What's his name? Blonde, blonde guy gets out of, out of the beach, out of the sea with his sexy trunks on. Daniel Craig. Bond. Anyway, Layer Cake. Really good film, you should watch it. That was before he was Bond, so um, yeah, really good. Uh, I'll digress onto the subject of the film. It's, don't know why I was talking about that. Haven't even finished my wine. Seeing a bit tubers. Well, it's actually quite comfy. A little bit low to the ground. It's slightly heavier than my normal one that I carry in. Um, but obviously less hassle because it folds up smaller. I'm not sure whether it's going to last that long being a, an Aldi product made in China. All these things seem to break and it, it does sink into the, the ground. But it's, it's comfy. If you can set it so it leans back a bit, it is actually quite comfy. So we shall see how it goes. But I'm still keeping my other one, which is only about 700 grams. That sort of tripody type one with the backrest, which is quite good. But um, there you go, that's Rickles' chair. 
he's just come for the evening, he's not sleeping. There's the fire. He brought some more logs, good lads, and I've got some kindling logs and a fire log, so there's enough there for at least, probably at least three hours. I've done half a bottle of wine, and I've had some Jack Daniels as well. So uh, the evening's good. Not sure if you can see that tinge of orange on the horizon. There's Rick. looking for a stick. Evening all, thank you to see, and there, over my left shoulder, you can see the sun setting, and it's half eleven, longest day, longest day, oh, a bit chilly, I've got some water on my bivvy, Sorry about my little uh Ooh. light of doom. Mm. Yeah, just using up the last of my logs and then I'm going to the nights. <sighs> Love the beach. Oh morning tubers. <coughs> Morning campers. It's exactly four o'clock in the AM. It's misty, it's extremely damp, and the sleeping bag is wet at the top. I haven't looked at the bottom yet, but I presume the same. I don't feel damp, I feel quite warm. I'm not sure I ever got this in the duchy, but maybe that's because it's held off your body. But I'll show you my view. Oh, I can't even see straight. Mm. The sun's up and the moon's up at the same time. So I'll give you a little looky. Looky see. There you go. Oh, don't want to sit on my nose, dude. Do you want to sit on my nose? I can't even see you. There you Right, here you go. This is my sky view. I'll just bring you down. There's the moon. Pretty bright. Misty sea, that way. Play misty for me. My old mate Jim will probably get that one. Play misty for me. And then there's the sun coming up. It's chilly, but I'll show you my bivvy bag. Oh. Can you see how wet that is? Can you see it or not? There's my feet right down at the end because I slipped down a bit. Look how damn that is. <laughs> man, man, oh man, oh man. Gathered that up. It's, it's uh, beading off quite nicely, though. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Right. <clears throat> I'm 
scout. Yep, it's a wet pillow. Sleeping bags wet here. Yeah. Pretty much all the way down. Oh, God. Now, if I'd had a down sleeping bag, I'd have been soaked, I reckon. I'll get it out in a bit. Look at it properly, I need to air it anyway, but it's so wet at the moment. It's the hazards of camping on a beach. It's the sea air and the cold air. Oh, look at my puffy face. Right, a bit warmer now. It's uh, there with exactly 5.40 in the morning. Still a little bit chilly, but I've had worse. I'm in litter picker already. I don't know, you can see him in the background there, he's orange. Picking up litter. Amazing, this time of day. On a secluded ish beach, really. Um, right, I'm going to show you my. Um, I'm just letting the fire dower down. I've stuck a fire log on this morning. You may have seen it in my time lapse in the background there, but uh, just to keep warm because it was a bit chilly. But I'm going to show you my uh, what's left of my setup, and um, I just need to dry it out, so I've got to pack it up. So I'm just going to show you it quickly, show you how much water's on it because there's lots, or well, there was lots. The pillow is wet, but that was sort of half hanging out, I think. Not sure you can see that, but it is actually quite damp. See all the water on it. Um, it hasn't sort of gone through, it's, it is beading, there's no dark patches on it, but yeah, it has gone through, but it hasn't. I wonder whether that was just condensation, not sure.
Well, there was no, not really any significant water inside, that's for sure. Um, only where the top was where I was getting in and out. I think a lot of the dampness on the, the sleeping bag is around the neck area, which always seems to be the case. Maybe it's because of breath. Don't know, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit damp in places. And a dark patch there. It's just where the, the sleeping bag touches the top. And obviously with a hoop bivy, <clears throat> you don't have that so much because it's lifted up off your body a bit. <clears throat> so it did its job. Um, I'm not so sure if you, oh, if, certainly if you had a down sleeping bag, I think you would have been quite wet, but because that's synthetic, it doesn't matter if it's wet really or damp it still keeps you warm i was warm as toast actually although i did I'd still have my coat on and everything but i was i haven't got any thermals on and normally i do but yeah i was pretty warm so uh yeah it's i think it's worth the money it's 49 pounds probably already said that um certainly in a woodland or where it's not so damp at night it'd be ideal i think certainly windproof Right, there you go, <clears throat> all packed up. Um, leave no trace, but I am gonna leave, leave a trace of that. I'm not gonna fill that in. It's a beach after all, and someone else can use it. It was part of a track from one of the trucks anyway. I'll just dug it out a bit more. Uh, fire is out and covered over. It was just ash, so that'll just go into the water and wind and sea, and the trucks are constantly up and down here anyway, so. All my stuff's all packed up, ready to go. Got my rubbish with me. Uh, just chuck. I didn't even put the, the um, sleeping bag in the stuff sack or the uh, bivy. I've just literally thrown them in my backpack because I'm going to have to air them when I get home. So there you go. That's it, folks. So um, hope you enjoyed this one. It was uh, a little bit windy yesterday, so I'm not sure on what footage I've got. I might have to put a lot of music over it. You may have already seen by now. Um, yeah, it's always a way. Whenever I come here, it's really windy, and then it drops later on, and it's normally perfect in the morning, So, which it is. So, But I'm, I'm on the hunt for new beach locations now. It's, um, it's getting a bit boring here, to be honest, and very flat. It used to be, you know, nice like that and uh, little hidey holes and things but hidey holes haha <laughs> um, anyway blabber 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 puffy horrible just woken up face yeah anyway thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed this one uh, if you'd like to subscribe I won't say share because no one ever does so just if you want to subscribe if you like what I do then please subscribe I really appreciate it um, and uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so that when I do an upload you get notified although the rave ones you might not want to watch or you might be subbing me because of the rave ones so either way click the bell anyway watch it don't watch it doesn't really matter uh, thumbs up thumbs down I'm not really bothered either way to be honest because it makes no difference at all to YouTube so um, yeah Enjoyed it. Good test on the bivvy. Good test on my new combats as well. Don't know whether anyone noticed. Good test on the chair. The chair's actually very comfortable. Um, yeah, and packs away quite small. But I'm blabbering on. I've said goodbye. That's it. It's all over. See you later, tubers. Rampers. Campers. Ravers. See you later. Bye-bye. I did actually forget to say, Burton Outdoors, currently outdoors, soon to be indoors in the car, soon to be home indoors, soon to be outdoors again shopping with the missus. I'd rather be here all day. See you later, rampers.